Now in this video, let's take a look at uh, the auto lock feature and what to do if it doesn't work for some reason on your iPhone, because it can very easily happen. For example, if you go to your settings, then go to your display and brightness section, here is uh, the auto lock feature. So you can choose it from five minutes to 30 seconds or never. However, if you have uh, the uh, low power mode enabled, that means that your battery is going to turn yellow and your iPhone is trying to preserve as much battery life as possible. This is going to be prompted to you automatically when you reach 20% and 10% of your battery. So chances are you don't even know that you turn it on. You just clicked away the pop-up that showed up on your screen. So yeah, it may happen that once you are in the low power mode, like I said, you know about it because there is the yellow battery in here as the indicator. Anyways, if you go here to display and brightness section right now, the auto lock feature is not clickable and it is set automatically to 30 seconds. That is the measure to save the battery life. So whether you like it or not, in the low power mode, you cannot choose how long you have your screen on. That is also here to make sure that you at least charge your iPhone past like 20% or something to like charge up your iPhone normally to make sure that you can choose how long uh, it's going to take until your iPhone turns off or locks itself. I mean, you don't have to just wait until it gets uh, turned uh, off or until you just charge up your iPhone. You can just turn off the low power mode anytime you want. And now you can come back to the display and brightness section and change the auto lock. I mean, it jumps back from 30 seconds because 30 seconds is the lowest option and it's like an emergency thing. However, if you want to control your battery and low power mode, you should go to the control center and make sure that you have it added in here. So at the top, you have the included toggles and controls, which are accessible right here when you swipe down to the control center. Make sure to add at the low power mode at there. It's really useful to have it up top so you can turn it off or on anytime you want. So it's very easy and it's just always there. It's accessible. So hopefully I answered your question. If you have like more questions about it, this kind of stuff, just let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to also subscribe to Fox Tech YouTube channel and also check out the next video about the battery health and battery uh, settings. Because for example, if you want to check out the battery health on your iPad, it's very difficult to do so. So I'm going to show you a tutorial uh, how you can do it. So thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later in the future.